What up? Let's get to it. So the Vikings really need to look at drafting cornerback from South Carolina, Cam Smith. Now we know the Vikings cornerback depth is a question. We talk about guys like Cam Danzler, who have been there a few years, really hasn't produced or contributed like the Vikings thought. They brought in two rookies last year, Caleb Evans, Andrew Booth. Could be promising. I believe they're very talented cornerbacks, but injuries are a question. Andrew Booth played in a couple games the regular season. He didn't look great, right? But, but that comes with the territory, being an NFL rookie, et cetera, et cetera. Ups and downs, learning the game. So you can't really judge him off one year playing a couple games, dig me. But the biggest question for him, can he stay healthy? Can he be available? Same thing with a Caleb Evans, looked very promising. Showed his skills, has a high upside, but had three concussions this past year, man. Could be a concern, maybe not, but the future will tell. But with that being said, the Vikings might just bring a corner back in. You got Patrick Peterson uh, getting older, uh, looked slow at times, got exposed in the playoffs and the big games. Duke Shelley came in, did solid. But at the end of the day, the Vikings might just need more depth at cornerback. With that being said, they need to look at drafting Cam Smith, cornerback from South Carolina. Man, let's talk about him. <laughs> you talk about an athlete, a cover corner, good at man to man. You talk about cornerbacks out of South Carolina. I can say one name, J.C. Horn. Very promising cornerback for the Carolina Panthers. Shut down corner. Rookie season, he was on his way to being a top corner in the league already until he got injured. So South Carolina seems like they do a pretty good job at producing cornerbacks, man. But Cam Smith, let's talk about some of his strengths, man. Flies all over the field, has good footwork, very good in man-to-man -man coverage. Great at going to get the ball when it's up in the air, man. Athletic ball hawk, good speed, good quickness, good agility, man. Talk about a guy who's very long, long wingspan, which will help him when he's deflecting passes or intercepting passes, man. Solid speed, 4-4 or below. But you put the film on, man, watch the tape. This guy is an athlete. He definitely has the potential to be a starter in the NFL, the potential to be an elite cornerback. Once again, very good ball skills when the ball is in the air. Uh, good recognition. Definitely good at coming up, making the big tackle. Can get better at tackling, is an average tackler. But overall, when he comes up, he makes the tackle, man. Talk about staying low. Getting in and out of his breaks, he's great at that, man. Has very quick closing ability. Good at breaking up plays, getting to the ball, breaking up deflecting passes, man. Very good at moving laterally. Has great instincts. You talk about flying around, getting to the ball when the ball is in the air. Good at zone coverage. Once again, great instincts when facing zone coverage, play action, etc. Has great ball skills. Has great size, man. Has length and speed, long arms, great for getting to the ball, making the big plays, making the interceptions when the ball is in the air. Very good at exploding out of his back pedal. Has magnificent closing speed. Great timing and ball skills, man. Just overall great athlete. Dick me heavy. Has great feet, quick, great feet work. He is very fluid in his hip movement. That's important for a cornerback, man, to be able to get in and out of your breaks, be able to turn around, run down the field. He has very good awareness when dropping into zone coverage. And he has solid route recognition, which gives him the ability to break on the ball, make a play once again, man. So Cam Smith, definitely a cornerback the Vikings should look at. Definitely has a high upside. Definitely very athletic, man. Now let's check out some of his weaknesses. He isn't great in route recognition when facing the play action. Sometimes hesitant, can get beat on double moves. When the ball is in the air, sometimes he gets too touchy, fiddly, too handsy, pass interferences, etc. He has to be more consistent in getting off blocks. He can be kind of slow reacting to a quarterback when he's targeted late in the, in the quarterback's progression. He's a good man-to-man -man corner, but fails to keep the inside leverage at times. Not a great bump and run cornerback. He has to improve that. Sometimes after making an interception, he's too loose with the ball. Needs to keep the ball closer to his body, bring it in more. But that's about it, man. But overall, Cam Smith had the potential to be a good cornerback in the NFL. Definitely someone the Vikings need to look at. Scout heavy. And the Vikings secondary, who was pretty much bad all year, especially certain individuals like Chandon Sullivan in the slot. So this guy could come in right away, 
make some noise, potentially a day one starter. If not, definitely a year two, year three starter, man. Coming from a school who produces good cornerbacks, like I said previously. So definitely a guy the Vikings need to zone in on and look at. It's a deep draft for cornerbacks. Probably don't have to draft one in the first round, but Corsten is. Will a cornerback of his caliber be there in the later rounds? That's part of the draft, man. That's part of scouting. Finding the best players. What it is, man. <laughs> but Cam Smith, a cornerback the Vikings need to look at drafting, man. Heavy. Let me know your thoughts, your opinions on it. Do you know about Cam Smith? How do you feel about Cam Smith, man? No doubt. <laughs> Big skull head. Oh, me. Oh, me. I ain't got no picture, Ed. Skull. Like that. Heavy.